In today's instructional video, we're going to show you how to get good with Michael's Advocates Chaos Mode, as well as show you a really, really good high wind deck. And we're going to start right now. Alright guys, first things first, if you like this type of content, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the video. Alright guys, so Michael's Advocates, what is it? Um, it's going to be cards that enhance uh, or heal Michael, uh, our new uh, goth card. Um, they're all going to cost 3 energy, so you're going to want to utilize as many of these as you can on your list. And don't forget that Michael is going to be your extra 13th card. Alright guys, your deck is going to be right up here, uh, top mid. Uh, note that we're not using Ferkel and Michael doesn't appear, that's because he is automatically in your rotation. Now the reason we're not using Ferkel is that he is not up to par just yet. Um, it, it's just he attacks way too slow and anything beneficial from this mode is absolutely unnecessary. So you're going to see me start off with this um, Wendy here, kind of starting off with a poke. Uh, freak him out into putting in units where he would not normally and control the situation. And as you can see here, we're putting up the diabetes so that he takes the brunt of that mind control and everything else continues to fight on our side of the field. So they're pushing, pushing, it's basically ranged units. He's used all of his fighters already for the most part and we're free to just walk up on his ranged units. So we're going to continue to press here, we're going to utilize um, the strengths of the chaos mode, which is um, actually the biggest, the biggest thing here is going to be a maxi which costs 3, so that's huge. And the reason for that is because he is actually um, a common and he gets summoned at level 4, so that's one of the strongest cards that you can get in chaos mode, if you didn't know. So to bring him back is huge. And as you can see we're getting lots of value, uh, we're using call girl, we're using Pope, and we're just bringing everything back and continuing the press. This is how you're going to be able to overwhelm people very very easily in this in this mode. And as you can see, it wasn't too long. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, this is going to be your next and final example. Um, my data is definitely showing that you guys just like to see two um, examples of this, so we want to just give you what you need and as quickly as possible. So we kind of shorten the, um, the the intro as well. So uh, here uh, we're doing the very same thing. We're poking with our Captain Diabetes. He puts out two units straight down mid. May not be what he wanted to do initially, but we made him do it, and now we're fighting on our side of the field with the advantage. Uh, when we use uh, Mintberry Crunch, we always kind of want to go off to the side uh, just in case uh, he's got a Satan or you know something like that. Uh, that way we have two main attacking forces and Mintberry can just pummel with his beam um, somewhat guarded depending on how the battle goes. Uh, here uh, bottom mid we're uh, helping uh, our call girl with our Mackie even though he's got his Bradley in the back uh, we want to make sure that she's doing damage while she's around Mackie and uh, we're going to bring back um, our Randy, refresh him with the Dar. Now you guys know I don't like Dar, but in this mode, it's, ex it's what you need, guys. You need to be using as much value as possible uh, for the cheaper rotational units that are all going to cost 3 energy. So if uh, you're about the win, if you're about that dub, make sure you use her. Make sure you use this deck and kind of play uh, to what your opponent is playing, like I usually recommend. So here we're going to slow back up, and um, th this is actually more sort of, a, of an aggressive move here because we're backing up our two units, but that Wendy is going to be able to do it. Um, she's so much stronger now since her buff, guys, and, and as you can see, she's pressing and pressing very, very well. We're going to punch through. We're using our uh, enhanced Michael there. And um, we're definitely going to have issues. We're going to put our three cost maxi behind our um, our Wendy just in time, and we're going to keep pressing here. We don't want to let him um, bring back, you know, charge back his energy because then we're going to be in trouble. Uh, we want to give him the impression that we've got, you know, the advantage, which we do, and we want to keep pressing. Um, so another little technique here guys, um, always kind of start with your Mackie behind a ranged unit. 
because the ranged unit is going to be behind with more damage, right? So there you're seeing that he's going to be having an extra 32 damage uh, for quite a bit, and that adds up bros. So here, um, as you can see, he is still uh, fighting it, which is great, but we were able to hold him off and completely keep him there. Now some people might hold off and play more conservative at that, at that point, but uh, you know that's that was just how I was feeling right there. So uh, either way, that was a good game to Elaxer, Elaxter. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have very very good luck with your chaos mode today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, of course, for more instructional videos throughout the week. And I hope to see you live for my streams. Um, till then, guys. And as always, make sure you get good. <laughs>